This video is going to introduce the six basic trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, and we'll talk about how those are defined using the opposite and adjacent sides of a right triangle. Let's talk about a general right triangle. We can tell it's a right triangle because in one of the angles there is a box. That means it's a 90 degree angle, so it's a right triangle. And we're going to look at one particular angle, one of the acute angles, and that will be what we've labeled x, and it's x and it's in degrees, so we've got the little degree symbol there. Again, the side opposite the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse, that is the longest side of the triangle. What we're now going to talk about is a general way of talking about all of these sides in relation to this angle x. The side that is opposite this angle x is called the opposite side. The side that touches is a part of this angle x is called the adjacent side. So we now have the hypotenuse, the side opposite x, and the side adjacent to this angle x. What happens if we look at the other acute angle in this triangle? Notice I've moved my x from the first angle to the second acute angle. Well, the hypotenuse is still the same. The hypotenuse is still the longest side, the side opposite the 90 degree angle. But now my opposite leg, which is still across from my new angle x, is what used to be the adjacent side. And the adjacent side of this new angle x is now the longer leg. So the opposite and the adjacent side depend on which angle we're looking at, which acute angle we're looking at. The hypotenuse, as I said, is always the same. It's always the longest side, and it's always the one opposite the 90 degree angle. So why have we bothered talking about opposite sides and adjacent sides and the hypotenuse? Well, we're going to use these sides, these three sides, and put them in ratios, and that is going to describe our trigonometric ratios that we'll be using. Here's my triangle again. I've moved x back down to the lower acute angle and I have my side opposite, my side adjacent, and my hypotenuse. These are the six different ways I can organize these three sides into ratios. I have an opposite over hypotenuse, I have an adjacent over hypotenuse, and an opposite over adjacent. I can also put the reciprocal of these and write the hypotenuse over opposite, hypotenuse over adjacent, and adjacent over opposite. This just happens to correspond to our six trigonometric ratios. Sine of x, sine of an angle x, is defined as the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle is defined as the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent of this angle is the opposite over the adjacent side. We also have three additional trigonometric functions. We have the cosecant of x, and that's equal to the reciprocal of sine x, if you notice. We'll hear more about that later. But that's defined as the hypotenuse over the opposite. The secant of x is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. And cotangent of x is equal to the adjacent side over the opposite side. And that's how the six basic trigonometric functions are defined. We have sine, cosine tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent.